DEGR is dedicated EGR and it's a engine and control architecture that was conceived, uh, developed, patented, and then licensed through the Hedge program. And it basically is a confluence of two long-standing research topics here at Southwest Research Institute. So the primary one being recirculated exhaust gas, or EGR. Uh, recirculated exhaust gas has been shown to cool combustion, which decreases emissions, improves efficiency, um, improving CO2, and also improving particulate emissions. And the other, the other topic of interest that we've been focusing on is also fuel reformation. Fuel reformation of gasoline, ethanol, uh, or CNG has been shown to significantly improve uh, engine efficiency, reduce emissions as well. Now these two topics independently were very beneficial. The dedicated EGR concept actually harmonized the two and brought them together in a complementary fashion. DEGR delivers the best of what both diesel and gasoline vehicles offer. The high MPG efficiency of a diesel engine with the super low emissions associated with modern gasoline vehicles. So diesel engines right now are very efficient. The, the conventional, you know, conventional wisdom is that a diesel engine will always be more efficient than a gasoline engine. One of the primary reasons for that is because it typically operates with dilution. It operates lean. When the three-way catalyst technology came on as an emissions control device, that forced gasoline engines to operate at stoichiometric air fuel ratios as opposed to lean air fuel ratios. So there was an efficient efficiency penalty associated with that conversion. Catalyst technologies that have decreased gasoline tailpipe emissions have also decreased engine efficiency. Diesel engines typically operate at lean air fuel ratios and high compression ratios, which have traditionally made them more efficient than conventional gasoline engines. The Institute's DEGR demonstration on a four cylinder engine integrated 25% EGR. The exhaust from one cylinder was diverted back to the engine air intake system. This high level of EGR dilution is made possible with Southwest Research Institute's dual coil offset ignition system. So, so through the HEDGE program, we've applied a high energy ignition system and employed the in-cylinder fuel reformation. And the hydrogen that's generated through that process minimizes the amount of ignition energy necessary for the cylinders meaning the engine can now operate stably, more efficiently, with higher levels of EGR because of the hydrogen and CO that's formed uh, through our technology. Conventional fuel reformation is typically an energy-intensive process, the cost of which has prohibited its use in vehicles. The uniqueness of this invention is that we were able to couple fuel reformation with EGR dilution. In the dedicated EGR concept, we're actually able to recover some of the waste heat and use that to drive the reformation process, thereby improving the efficiency not just of the engine, but of the system as a whole. Typically, getting higher efficiencies and lower emissions has required increasingly complex, expensive engine and related technology. So what we've tried to do through the Hedge Consortium, and very specifically with the dedicated EGR concept, is to reduce complexity. And by reducing complexity, we're reducing cost. And we're reducing cost on two fronts. One is on the hardware side, and the other one is on the control side, and what we call the onboard diagnostic part. So we, we can reduce costs throughout the entire process of uh, the product development. And DEGR technology has broad application, both in terms of the vehicles it can be used in and fuels that it can run on. So what does this mean to the average person? Well, as a consumer, it's very important because the technology itself will reduce the cost of the engine. So therefore, you're your upfront cost, what it costs you at the dealer, is going to be lower, right? But also, because of the improved efficiency, your in-use cost goes way down. Besides fewer trips to the pump, the DEGR offers emissions reductions across the board. So by increasing the engine efficiency, we're able to decrease the amount of carbon dioxide that's emitted to the atmosphere. And at the same time, we're able to uh, minimize the criteria pollutants, those pollutants that form smog, that burn your lungs, but it's not just in the criteria pollutants where we see the benefit. Dedicated EGR is also shown to reduce the particle number and particle mass emissions of, of light duty engines. The engine industry anticipates more stringent regulation of the particle content of emissions in the future. So the DEGR has the potential to meet the EPA 2025 mile per gallon targets, the CAFE targets 
of about 50 miles per gallon. Um, and it's able to do that while meeting the emissions, the very stringent emission standards that we currently have. Dedicated EGR technology has eliminated the diesel engine's historical advantage. A DEGR gasoline engine can operate with cool combustion, high compression ratios, and run on less expensive regular gasoline. So, the DEGR technology recovers the MPG loss associated with gasoline engines while retaining the lower cost, lower emissions, lower CO2, and high performance advantages.